Hi, Hi everyone. <laughs> I have my daughter with me today. It's the summer holiday, so you know, kids, we can't get away from it when we have kids. So, as you can see from this video, I will be testing out some products that I got in the post from a website here in the UK. And I said, you know what? I have a bit of time. Let me just do a quick video. But before I get into this review of the sublimation blanks that I bought, I just want to read a scripture to you guys, mm -hmm. my trusted companion. And it is taken from John 15, verses 26 Can to it? 27. Can Where is you? it? Where is it? This one. This one? Yeah. But when... The Helper comes, whom I shall send to you from the Father, the Spirit of Truth, who proceeds from the Father. He will testify me and also will bear witness. Amen. So the Helper here, that the scripture that John is speaking about, is the Holy Spirit. And he is sent by the Father to help us on our christian journey whoops we need the holy spirit in in our journey you know he's our helper he's our guide he's our comforter he's the spirit of truth sorry about that my daughter accidentally um clicked the light out he's the spirit and it says here the spirit of truth so he is the spirit of truth who will lead us into all things true so um you know so let us move on to this video because i don't want it to be too long i often say that and my videos end up being like 40 minutes so this is what i've done and i, I helped to do it yes you did so i've gone through and i've done all of these and these are the blanks that i have and as you can see wait, hold on. yeah you i was it fits right on yeah top of so it. what i went and did i went and did a template on the silhouette um software because in a previous video i did the designs on the sawgrass um designs creative studio and i could only print a certain amount at a time so because i did it on the silhouette um in the silhouette studio now i managed to line up all my designs hold on a minute where is my coaster what coaster the one that you had this oh, one wait, hold on. yeah <laughs> she was messing about today so i went ahead and i ordered this is our metallic bookmarks and this is a rounded um mdf you can print on both sides the same thing with this one ah, you can it. print on both sides and then this is a coaster so i'm just trying it out to see how well they work and if they do work i will know that i will definitely be ordering from them again because in a previous video i had some key chains and sorry about that that's just my um heat press because it has been left idle for too long should so i turn it off it will turn off by itself so um i where was i yeah i bought some um some of these from amazon and when i pressed them they some came out good some came didn't come out so well mm -hmm. so i found this website on the internet um i'll leave a dis uh, link in the in description, description box you're gonna say description in the link i know right for those of you who live in the uk i'm not sure if they do ship internationally but i'm just gonna leave a link where you can find them so because i've gone ahead and i've laid them out so remember for sublimation you always need to mirror your images but what i need to do is to ensure that i cut out one of these because it's going to go on the back of one of this and the same thing for this so the beauty about it it comes with these little keyring tabs plastic so remember to take it out do not sublimate with it or else it's gonna Bye. melt so what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna cut them out and once i've cut them out and lay them down then i will come back 
my daughter is moving the tripod then i will come back so i'll see you in a minute my trusted long scissors i'll see you in a minute be careful bye, bye. okay guys so now i am back i've gone ahead and i've cut out what it is i need to cut out one moment please my mobile phone is ringing <laughs> okay guys so now i am back so i've gone ahead and because i'll be doing um this is double-sided i cut one out one side out and the same thing for this now they do come with a plastic film on top so one has to ensure that you peel both sides you don't want to not peel both sides even if you're not gonna do both sides peel both sides because you don't want the plastic to go ahead and melt shrink whichever one you want to call it yeah so i'm just trying to be as careful as i possibly can because i do not want to damage the metal so that is what it looks like it is um i think i can't remember but i'll try and f I, I can't remember the dimensions but i'll try and put it in the description box so so that's what it looks like so and the same thing for this is just a normal one and then i just need to peel this one off yeah i need to peel this one off so i have to be very careful not to damage it so i don't have any fingernail oh yeah i do have a little bit ah, i have a little finger little bit of fingernail so i have some i have a lot that's fine i did it thank you very much so that's what it looks like so because you peel off the other side yeah i did okay so because it's all gonna be on one paper i don't need to be cutting it out so remember sublimation mirror your image and what i have gone ahead and done i've made the circle the, the circle a little bit bigger than what it is for each of them i've made them just a tad bit over so i'm just gonna line it up as neatly as i possibly can whoops sorry about that again i keep kicking over everything today mm -hmm. let me just try and get in so i want to try and get in as much of this peacock Duh, it's hot Forgot. sorry my daughter was about to touch the eat person <laughs> she completely forgot that it's hot so i want to get in as much of this peacock as possible and the words so you just line it up as neatly as you possibly can and the neatly. yep and the same thing for this as you can see it's a bit it's a tad bit bigger but i did the measurement because i want it to go all the way to the edge and the words also are hopefully i haven't made them too big <laughs> no they're fine yeah. and the same thing for this one so this is um i think this is an alcoholic ink um digital paper i bought all of these from designbundles.net and then that's what it looks like let me just double check yep because in my previous video what i did i didn't do this template and when i printed it and pressed it some of them came out uh how would you put it now some of them came out with the words dropping off the paper and I, you, you can't do you don't want that you want a especially if you're selling it and you're in business at the end of the day so you want a professional finish so the beauty about this is that i can just go ahead and tape it all together and just tape it there So what I'm going to do, I'm going to follow their instructions with regard to the pressing time. Here in the UK, we use um, Celsius. So I've downloaded a temperature conversion. Celsius? 
yeah on my phone so when i see the pressing time in celsius i convert it to fahrenheit because this heat press here only does fahrenheit it's the hdv oh see i'm even getting confused <laughs> so it's easy now for me to just flip it over which is there 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 hopefully it hasn't moved i keep saying the word hopefully huh? okay so that's that so it's all lined up now get my piece of paper uh oh i can't use this i can see something has come off on it so i can't use that one again because if i do it may then come off on my heat press so let me go and get a piece of parchment paper one minute baking paper i just got baking paper i don't have um butcher paper i went and got it from the there's a local supplier i just went and got some from the supermarket nothing fancy and it comes in a roll and then all i can do is just rip whatever off, piece off that i need so that's it that should be fine for everything and what i've done i've gone ahead and I've written down the press setting. Some of it is different. So it's 65 for the highest one, which is the bookmark. And then you have 55. So I'm just going to press it at 65. Hopefully it doesn't ruin it. So now my temperature has dropped. I need for it now to go back up to the required temperature. So what I'm going to do is that instead of me sitting here and waiting when it goes back up i'll then start the video again okay okay guys so now i am back my heat press is now up to temperature so i'm now gonna go ahead and press everything it's all lined up underneath it and then 65 seconds I'm giving it a heavy, pr a heavy press. Um, the beauty about this one is that once you, when, when you're holding it down, you can see the amount of pressure that you're applying. So I'm just giving it a good amount of pressure. The longest one is the metallic blanks. They said 65 seconds and the others are a little bit less as per what I've written down here which is probably once 10 seconds, one five second over. So let's hope that it doesn't um, burn the MDF or scorches it in any way. So we're just now down to 10 seconds, seven. Okay. Okay. Hmm. I can see this one has come through. And I can see that one as well has come through. That one has come through. Let me. This is the metallic bookmark. So let me. Oh, I'm a bit nervous. <laughs> I'm a bit nervous, but this is, um, it was a sample pack I purchased and, um, it was for like four pounds something, which is quite reasonable. At least instead of purchasing a large amount, you can just purchase a sample pack in order to test it out to ensure I'm scared for you. you're scared. My daughter says she's scared for me. <laughs> so... This metal is going to be very hot. So I have to be very careful. 
I don't know why is it I'm so nervous. Working with gloves sometimes is so tedious, but because it is metal, you have to use it or else you're gonna get burned. So let me take this one off because this one got the longest press. I mean, it should be okay. I'm telling you, working with gloves is sometimes like, uh, no, don't say that. You heard what you said? Oh dear. So, yeah, it can be because the gloves is like, it did not come off any at all. So what I'm going to have to do, redo it. yeah, I'm going to have to redo it. So what I'm going to have to do, I'm just going to have gonna to die. put it, she's leaving me. I'm just going to have to put it up to the Bye. 400, the 400 degrees as per regular sublimation press because it didn't, it's a good thing I didn't rip it off. <laughs> So I'm just going to have to put it up to 400. I'm not sure about that one. So let me get this off. Let me see what this one looks like. Okay. Oh, yeah, that one came off. Oh, wow. So that one's fine. So that one's fine. My um, heat press has gone up to the correct temperature. So that one's fine. Let us see how this one turned out. Because these ones were pressed a little bit longer at the required temperature. Uh. Oh, wow. This one is beautiful. But it has this little ghost in. Hmm. I'm not even going to repress it to be quite honest. I'm just going to leave it. So that's that. Let me put that one side. So this one now is up to the required temperature. And it's for, I put it to 400. And I'm pressing it for 65. Oops. And I'm giving it heavy, um, a heavy press. press. <laughs> if this metal bookmark comes out, it's going to be, I wouldn't say a game changer, but then... This is also another added product that I can put on the website to sell to customers. So I can offer either the metallic one or the paper one, which I think the metallic one will go much better because it looks much, it will last much longer. And I can smell the gas from the the sublimation i can smell it so hopefully now this has worked so if it worked now i know that i need to bump it up to 400 instead of the required press oh yeah if you guys look you can literally see it has come through now so let me take it off oh yeah Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, which, which show is it? Is it Austin Powers that says, yeah, baby. <laughs> if my husband would hear, was here, we would be laughing. Okay. 
so i'm try i don't know why is it this didn't come out but probably it's just user error on my part Be careful and do not touch the metal because it is hot. So I'm just holding it down, trying to take the tape off because I don't want to burn myself. Oh! beautiful i'm so excited you know which show was it um transformers when it um was it bumblebee was singing i'm so excited i won't even try singing but that's it so what i'm gonna do and that's what's left so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna pause the video so you see it came off on the paper so i can't use this paper anymore so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna pause it wait until it's cool and then i'll do the other side so i will be back okay guys so i'm back so what i've decided to do because the metallic bookmark is at a different temperature and the round um, key ring is also at a different temperature setting. I'm just gonna go ahead and press this by itself. I found a clean sheet of paper. So I'm just gonna press this by itself. And then when that is cool, I'm then gonna press it afterwards. So. So I've lowered the temperature to 365, but I've increased the time for pressing it to 65 um, seconds. So hopefully for this one now, it does, it does the trick, so to speak, and doesn't give it like a, um, a scorch marker or something, so... So, okay, that's finished pressing. So, let me get my other glove. And let me see the result for this one. Oops. Okay, I can see that it came through. Beautiful. And let me see the other side yep no distortion so that's it that's it for that one beautiful venice that's i went to venice one year <laughs> that's when my husband proposed so he took me to venice and it is a beautiful beautiful city and that's that side so what i'm gonna do now i'm just gonna put this one side and then I'm going to bump the temperature back up to 400. And then I'm just going to let it stay at 65. I'm going to take this off. And it's now cool to the touch. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to find a piece where there's no um residue and then is this my sublimation paper oh yes <laughs> and then line it up as best as i possibly can carry it down a little yep let me ensure that it is all nice and yep carry the carry this over just a tad bit more so the words yep that's it so get my tape 
and I'll tape at the bottom here. Get my tape. I won't put a lot of tape on it because I don't want it to have any scorch mark or anything. So it's nice and secure. Did it move? I hope not. No, it didn't move. So I can take it off and I can put it ensure that it's nice yeah it has this came over a bleed came over but that's okay because then that will completely cover it all lined up properly yep i'm always nervous <laughs> when it comes to this why because i can't see it so i'm just trying my best to ensure that it's lined up at least eyeball it to see that the you know it's even because i did it two millimeters over so it should be all lined up now let me just double check again yep they're right there okay and then Quickly tack it down to ensure that it doesn't move. And tack it down, ensure that it doesn't move. I don't think I need the one underneath, but you know what? I'm not even going to trouble it to be quite honest. Find a piece of paper where there's no residue. I'm using up every piece of paper. I'm not going to be wasting it. Um, you know what i'm not even gonna try with that one yep this one there's nothing on it so i'm just gonna go all the way to the bottom and that's it 65 seconds finished and you can see it has come through and my lettering is nice and centered <laughs> oh gosh i think i need to try the a sub sublimation paper for this one to see exactly how it would come out because then i lay it on it like facing up and i don't have to be mirroring the image so let us do the grand reveal. Oh, wow. You see, it came through. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. This is absolutely beautiful. Let me check the bottom to ensure nothing came through. Nothing. It's nice. So that's it, guys. Metallic bookmark sublimation on metallic um metal not metallic what am i saying metal bookmark so that's it it's very nice and shiny so that's it peace be still and that's what the lord wants for us to have peace and i did it double-sided and there you go one more page so that's that one you fold it let me take my gloves off because the rest is not hot and then that's that one john 3 16. there we go beautiful venice and then that one you came out with that but that's fine that's probably just user error but apart from that it's absolutely beautiful 
so there you go guys that's it my samples that i bought from the company here in the uk it's not an affiliate link or anything so that's the company blank <clears throat> blank, blank sublimation.co.uk and in the pack this came with it as well so i'll have to work out how to do the design in the silhouette software and what i went ahead and did i also bought some more blank metallic just to be just to see you know if this one turned out well then i could print up some more so i'll do these over the weekend and that's it guys thank you so very much let me attach this thank you so so very much for sticking around thank you for staying tuned to this video let me get the tassel for that one okay what tassel should i use because it came with some i got some tassels as well um, but i have some for myself i'll probably do the that one There we go. So that's it, guys. <laughs> Printing on a sub sublimation paper and doing metallic. Me Why well, keep saying metallic? Metal bookmark, the MDF rounded key ring, as well as the placemat. I'll have to do some more experiment with this but i say thank you very much for staying tuned to this video thank you again to my old subscribers and thank you to my new subscribers and just thank you thank you thank you and as always may the lord bless you may the lord keep you may the lord make his face shine upon you and give you peace and may the peace of the Lord surrounds you. And as per John 3, 16, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. So I say thank you yet again. And God bless you and have a good morning, a good evening, a good night. Whenever you have decided to watch this video and thank you so, so very much. Thank you. Bye.